Hello, welcome to the Marine Basics. I am Marine Engineer Adi Fonseca. This video is about Marine Diesel Engine Cylinder Liner Crack. I will be discussing indications for crack liner and action which should be taken when the main engine cannot be stopped. Watch till the end. Okay. Before explaining about the indications, first we will focus on the internal operation of a crack liner. When there is a crack inside the liner, probably there will be a path open between the jacket water space and the combustion space. I will repeat it again. There will be a path open between jacket water space and the combustion space. Normally, jacket water pressure will be 3 to 5 bars. As the piston moves towards to the bottom dead center, 1. Jacket water pressure is higher than the combustion chamber pressure. 2. Water will lead to the combustion chamber. 3. Reducing the temperature of combustion space. As the piston moves towards to the top dead center, as with the compression stroke, combustion pressure higher than the jacket water pressure. And gas will lead to the jacket water system. See, when you understand the basic theory, it will be useful in the future. Now, let's see what are the indications to identify crack in a cylinder line. Indications. 1. White smoke. Due to lowering of temperature in the combustion space by water leaking when the cylinder pressure is low around BDC and then absorbing the heat energy from compression as it vaporizes. This gives incomplete combustion and also loss of power. 2. Low exhaust temperature. This is also due to the incomplete combustion. This may be reduced Temperature considerable amount. 3. Pulsing of jacket water cooling pressure. As the gas pressure rises in the cylinder, the crack will open and the gas will be forced into the cooling space. This will be seen as the pressure gauge of the cooling water fluctuates. 4. Rising cooling water outlet temperature from affected unit. As the hot gas from the cylinder enters the cooling space, and heats the water. 5. Bubbles can be seen from the expansion tank. When gas pressure acts on jagged water space, gas will vent from expansion tank. 6. High level in expansion tank. The high level will be false but may cause overflowing of the expansion tank as the gas from cylinder vents up to the expansion tank. The diagram shows that the expansion tank level increasing as the gas venting from expansion tank. Seven expansion tank low level. Now we know as piston moves towards the bottom dead center, combustion pressure low, and water will leak to the top of the piston. It is a one way that water will loss in jacket port system. Other way is the expansion tank may get overflow and reduce the water level in it. Overflowing water plus loss of water inside the cylinder may lead to trigger the low level alarm. Well, those are the indications for cracks cylinder line. Next, we will move on to our next topic action which should be taken when the main engine cannot be stopped. Okay, let's see what is meant by when the main engine cannot be stopped. What are the situations which main engine cannot be stopped? It is for the sake of safe navigation or justifiable reasons to save the vessel or to save a disaster from happening. Example, heavy weather or high traffic area. In cracked cylinder liner situation, the best remedy is to stop the engine soon as possible and change the cylinder line. But sometimes in the exams, they might ask 
the procedure when the main engine cannot be stopped. Even in real life situations, this can be happened. Number one, call for assistance. This include inform to the bridge regarding the situation, inform to the designated person ashore and relevant port authorities. Number two, keep the header tank cupped up. Expansion tanks having a filling well. You can open it when it is reducing the level of the tank. Otherwise, what will happen? When there is a less of cooling jacket water, it will damage to the whole engine due to the high temperature. Or oh, jacket water high temperature alarm will activate, which leads to slow down the engine and stop the engine. Number three, reduce the load of the engine. This is to reduce the combustion pressure and the thermal stresses. Number four, lift the fuel pump on effective cylinder. By lifting the fuel pump will shut the fuel supply to the injectors, so eliminate the combustion. Number five, increase the cylinder lubrication. Number six, keep watches on engine, especially for any unusual vibration or surging occurs in turbocharging. Well, those are the methods should be taken when the main engine cannot be stopped. So that's it for today's topic. I hope you learned something. If you have any question, please drop a message in the comment section. And if you think my presentation is useful, please like and subscribe to my channel. All the best and thank you very much.